My name is Jimmy O'Neill. I'm a New York City detective. They say New York is a city that never sleeps. Well, it is. And everybody's got a story. I'm about ready to eat a hamburger. What does it look like I'm doing? Huh? It looks like you're trying to smoke in my car and you're not going to. Come on. How long have we known each other? Look, how long? How all long? of our lives. All right, and how long have we been partners? All, all of, of our, our lives. lives. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, let me no. have one of these vices. No, huh? I, we go through this all the time. I get a new car every three years. We're not, you're not going to okay. smoke. Okay. Never. It's okay. never going to happen. Okay, watch, watch, okay? Watch yeah, it go yeah. into the pocket. Don't there it goes. Sure it's it's in the pocket. Lit. It's not no, lit okay. for crying out loud. Oh. Next time you do what I tell you. I was on a small time drug stakeout with my partner when I noticed Joe Esposito, a New York City councilman who's also tied to the mob. What is he doing? Oh, what is he doing? No, no, no. Come on. Go, 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 go. No, go. you go. Go no, get no. him. No, if I go, I'll kill him. Just go. You see, now that's your problem. You can't just, just bust go the guy. And go. All right. All right. I'll go. Hey, let her go, pal. What? You didn't get paid this week? He obviously thought I was on the take. He soon found out how wrong he was. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, that was good. That was good. She said, what do you want me to do for you? I want you to get on the bus and go home. My partner and I were called into the chief's office to explain what happened with Esposito. Get on with Things you. got a little heated. What were you guys thinking? My captain always knows how to push my buttons. Hey, you want to take this outside, Tommy? I'm not a city councilman. Yeah, well, I'm not your ex-wife. I heard about you smacking around. So what is she, like 5'2"? Uh, she weighs 110 pounds? Huh? All, right. all right, that's enough. Yeah, knock it off, all right? Not a bunch of school kids here, all right? You know who you jacked up last night? No, I didn't ask for his identification when his fist was coming towards my jaw. This hothead needs to sign a letter of apology. I'm not signing anything. What is that? Taking a trip to Fort Worth. Texas. So you quitting the force, Jimmy? Mike, come on. I haven't had a day off in I don't remember how long. I haven't had a vacation in years. Let's just say I'm taking a leave of absence. What's wrong, Jimmy? I don't know, you just don't know who you can trust nowadays. I got a note saying that Vito, the underboss to the mob, wanted to meet me down by the Gowanus Canal. He wanted me to sign a letter of apology for slugging Joe Esposito. Apologize to a Cretan? I don't think so. Listen, you guys go uh, polish the car or something. I gotta talk to Jimmy. That's Nicky Montebello, a wannabe Al Capone with a gold chain. He looks more like Baby Huey. What's a Cretan? That's Benny Cigarettes. He doesn't smoke, but he's always asking for a cigarette. Didn't you see that old movie, The Cretan from the Black Lagoon? I didn't see the movie, that's a good movie. That's why you're gonna sign this apology, everything's gonna be okay, it's gonna go back to normal, no problems, right? Vito, you know, you know, that's not gonna happen. Not on, you are one stubborn son of a- Yeah, I know, I know, it's always been that way, right? How's your eye, Joe? Looks like the swelling went down. How's your eye? There's nothing wrong in my eye. There will be if you don't shut that mouth of yours. Oh, Nicky, not for nothing. But would you want to be reminded of Jimmy O'Neill clock you? He didn't clock me, stupid. He co-cocked me when I wasn't looking. And there's a difference. Sorry, Joe. I knew that. You set up that sit down with O'Neill? We'll leave tomorrow for Texas. I say we whack him in Texas. That ain't never gonna happen. Me and Jimmy, we go way back. And Sam, he ain't going for it either. You and Sam are too sentimental. Haven't you ever heard of it's not personal? It's just business? I loved that movie. I knew it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. But it ain't good business. Besides, you two, you just got into like a little scuffle. It's about respect, Vito. He wouldn't sign the letter of apology. Listen, cigarettes, it's gonna kill you. Hey, Jimmy, been reading about you. Yeah, well, don't 
believe everything you read, Frankie. Yeah, well, uh, I read you clocked Exposito. Oh, well, in that case, believe everything you read. That's my boy. So you better get on the train to Texas or I'll let the hell you get there. I guess Marty doesn't think they have airports in Texas. <laughs>